Hi, my name is Danishika Ratnaika. I'm a PhD candidate at Professor Peter Curry's lab at the Australian Regenerative Medicine Institute. A main focus in our lab is examining skeletal muscle regeneration using zebrafish as a model organism. In this video, I'd like to highlight some key discussion areas presented in our bioassays review. Overall, this review examines recent discoveries in muscle stem cell biology across a number of different animal models. Its main focus is on in vivo imaging studies that have provided unique insights into the field. The invention of the microscope at the beginning of the 17th century opened a new chapter in scientific discovery. Its subsequent modifications and refinements over the last four centuries have been essential in facilitating breakthrough discoveries in many fields. Focusing on the skeletal muscle field, such advancements led to the initial visualization of satellite cells, the adult muscle stem cell, over 50 years ago, and have aided in uncovering many aspects of its function. However, static images at times become insufficient to truly understand the dynamic nature of satellite cells. This has driven the field to adopt in vivo time-lapse imaging strategies to investigate satellite cells in their native environment at a cellular resolution. Two highlights being imaging the initial events of muscle regeneration in a living mouse and the entire regenerative response in zebrafish larvae. Such studies have allowed the direct visualization and tracking of satellite cells in response to injury which has provided in vivo evidence for previous in vitro based findings and resolved recurring debates about satellite cell regulation and function. Some of the main unresolved or controversial questions in muscle regeneration center on the nature of stem cell divisions leading to muscle regeneration, how satellite cells self-renew, mode of stem cell migration, and the role, if any, that the wound environment plays in facilitating repair. This review focuses on how in vivo time-lapse imaging studies have helped answer some of these key questions. Looking at some key examples. Firstly, in vivo satellite cells recapitulate the established stereotypic sequence activated stem cells exhibit in vivo. That is, they become activated, proliferate to generate a progenitor pool and differentiate forming myofibers. However, what was surprising was that these cells displayed highly dynamic morphogenetic changes as they underwent the known stereotypic phases of regeneration. Secondly, in vitro studies have reported conflicting evidence about the mode of satellite cell migration into the wound site. However, harmonious in vivo observations from both mice and zebrafish have resolved this debate and established pseudopodia extension as the primary mode of cell migration. Thirdly, looking at the process of satellite cell self-renewal, there has been considerable in vitro evidence indicating asymmetric cell division as the mechanism of satellite cell self-renewal. However, until recently, its significance in a living organism was controversial. Work in zebrafish has provided strong in vivo evidence that asymmetric satellite cell divisions establish a clonogenic progenitor pool that facilitates regeneration. Along these lines, the apical basal orientation of cell divisions has been documented to govern satellite cell fate and maintain the sensitive balance between self-renewal and differentiation. Work on isolated muscle fibers has documented the presence of radial satellite cell divisions generating daughter cells with distinct cell fates. However, in vivo observations in the mouse have questioned the presence of such divisions in order to resolve this debate, mouse intravital imaging will need to be further modified to enhance resolution, be able to detect a greater range of fluorescent proteins and image a larger portion of the regeneration timeline. Moving away from these examples, let's focus on how such imaging studies have led to the discovery of previously unknown phenomena that present novel lines of inquiry. A really interesting discovery is in the zebrafish system where there is an emerging role of philopodia-based guidance of stem cells and progenitor cells. The uninjured fibers bordering the injury were seen to extend philopodia that guided the progenitor to the regions that needed fiber addition. This discovery places a previously undocumented importance on the availability of uninjured fibers to aid in muscle repair. 
Interestingly, these observations of philopodial guidance are similar to findings in the invertebrate model Drosophila, where muscle fiber-based philopodia are known to play a role in myogenesis. The comparisons that can be drawn between these two organisms hint at mechanistic conservation and provide a starting point to unravel signaling pathways governing these extensions. Live imaging is an essential tool for discovering processes that occur during regeneration. We must continue pushing the boundaries of high resolution and animal appropriate imaging, which will enable us to image, model and quantify cellular processes in the most biologically relevant context, driving forward novel discoveries.